Welcome back everybody to Poketubers on the brand new series that I launched a little over a week ago here on the channel and the idea to it is we bring together a bunch of different people from the Pokemon community in a video and we ask a question, try to delve a layer deeper into the head of I guess a content creator, someone in the Pokemon community and get their thoughts on a topic. If you missed out on episode 1, click that link in the upper right hand corner of the video as you can check it out. The playlist is down below if you guys want to check out any episodes from the past future that are coming out, that is the link to go to. Last time we took a look at content creation. And how it affects gaming and a content creator's life. And now today we're going to be asking a question a little bit more Pokemon centric and it is what is your favorite way of playing Pokemon? Of course, there's plenty of ways. You could shiny hunt, you could battle, you could do a randomizer of versus, and etc. There are so many ways to play. So that was the question that I went to quite a few people for and I was like, yo, what do you think about that? And you know what? They recorded their answers and I'm just gonna go right into it. Take a look at what they had to say. What's going on guys, my name is United Gamer, and first off I just want to say thank you to the 4th Gen Gamer for inviting me to participate in this Poketubers On series. It's a really awesome series and he's a really cool guy that I met out at PAX East this year. But as for the question, my favorite way of playing Pokemon has to be without a doubt a randomizer Nuzlocke. Within the past year that's really all I've ever done on my channel and I love doing it every single time. You know if you're like me, you grew up playing Pokemon and that being said, you know what all the Pokemon you can catch in each route, you know what the gym leaders are gonna have you know what the elite four is gonna have you know what the champions gonna have you know what the moves they're gonna know you pretty much know everything about the game and it gets kind of repetitive so having that randomizer effect thrown into the game it really adds the suspense of the game and I love that because like that first gym you know in third gen that could have a nose pass and it's a rock type gym could be dragon and have a Rayquaza and you never see it coming you know with that plus the nuzlocke thrown on top of it it really adds to the difficulty setting you know not being able to let any of your Pokemon die you can only catch the first Pokemon in each route. I love that about the game because, you know, as time's going on, Pokemon has gotten extremely easy. So I really like having that Nuzlocke and that randomizer effect. It's my, without a doubt, my favorite way of playing Pokemon. I can even, you know, just play on my own time playing a randomizer and have a good time. You know, that being said, I love having that classic feel of playing those old games. But when I'm really trying to mix it up, I love doing a randomizer Nuzlocke because you can play the same game and then have different Pokemon each time you play it if you randomize different files so I love that about the game it has to be my favorite way of playing Pokemon and I don't see it getting old anytime soon you know I have so many gens that I haven't even done on my own channel so I have so much potential to do on and play so I really love that about Pokemon there's so many different ways to play it hey guys it's JPP just play Pokemon back for episode number two of Poketubers on it's good to see you here thanks for being here and watching this on Josh's channel so my prompt, uh, what is your favorite way of playing Pokemon? And to the surprise of not many people that have watched my channel, I love Wonderlocks. This is where my channel got a big boost, a bit of a following, and what I'm probably known for the most is playing Wonderlocks. I love the fact that you can play through the game in a Wonderlock pretty much unlimited times and always get a different team and always have something different and you're at the mercy of the people of the system unless you try to say hey guys you know come on over and uh, trade me something really good we'll we'll count it down at the same time there's a good chance that we're gonna get something different and something special and hey you never know when you come through clutch uh, I love those Wonderlocks, and I think that they're popular because other people do too. So that's my favorite way of playing Pokemon. And I mean, m if I had to pick like maybe a second one, I love randomizers. It's the same concept. You don't know what you're going to get. It's exciting every time you make a trade. It's exciting every time you do that. And it is a challenge. So I like a challenge. I like to have fun. And that's my favorite part of playing Pokemon in general. Wonderlocks for the win. Hey guys, and welcome back to Swami Studios. I am your host, Malat Swami, and I am really happy to be here for the second episode of PokeTubers On. Thank you for having me, Josh. Uh, what's your favorite way of playing Pokemon? For me, I've always been a battler. From a few years ago, once I really got back into the groove of Pokemon, I always loved the strategy of it, but specifically, as I have now started doing it for the NPA, I am a Draft League battler through and through. I love the depth that you need to go into to really have a good team. I love the idea of planning out a draft, having all the different scenarios, as I'm a big sports guy. I have a sports channel for that very reason, and I want to work in that field. So having that type of 
involvement to work on all the different scenarios, to build your team to strengths and weaknesses, and then to plan out how you're gonna go about every individual week, every individual matchup in a week, is something that I just love to do. It's right down my alley, and it's just, it makes Pokemon that much more fun to me. Hey guys, Twintendo here, or you can also call me James. Big shout out to Josh for letting me on this episode of Pokertube is on. And the question he has given me today is, what is your favorite way of playing Pokemon? And it's kind of a tough question because um, depending on the Pokemon game and depending on how I used to play, it's changed quite a bit to how I now play Pokemon. Albeit I barely played Pokemon Sun and Moon really after finishing the main story. I think that's the first Pokemon game I've never really gone back to, which is kind of disappointing. Um, but what I used to do with Pokemon is, especially with Pokemon Ruby, which was my first Pokemon game, was get as many level 100s as I could. So I'd go back to the Elite Four. I'd always have my five main Pokemon, which I think were at the time Blaziken, Swampert, Sceptile, uh, Rayquaza, not Rayquaza. Uh, we're going to have a big discussion about that, I'm sure, in the comments. Um, Flygon, and then for the like the sixth slot, I just had the Pokemon I was training at the time, and so I had around 21 level 100s I remember in Pokemon Ruby, and that was like stuff like Steelix, um, I think maybe Aerodactyl, really random Pokemon. Never really battle trained them like, you know, battle ready kind of Pokemon, but uh, yeah, that's what I used to do, and I think for Diamond and Pearl, I used to make more competitive teams, not in terms of like proper competitive, like we can do in uh, Pokemon X and Y and Sun and Moon with EV training and stuff. But you know, I used to kind of like improve my battling teams a bit more then. And in fifth generation, kind of skipped out that generation again, like Sun and Moon. Once I finished the game, I didn't really do too much in that. But I used to just raise level 100s through Ruby, uh, Diamond, and and Pokemon Black. I did. I. Uh, I found that quite difficult, I don't know why, I think the game was a bit harder than the others for some reason, but yeah, I raised level 100s, and then in Pokemon X and Y, I kind of just did a bit of everything, it was the first time I did a lot of trading, did a lot of Wi-Fi battles, uh, a lot of breeding as well, got some shiny hunting in there as well, so it has changed, I think out of all of those now, I probably shiny hunt the most out of everything. Like I said, I skipped Sun and Moon out a bit, so I need to go back and find my niche again, whether that's getting as many level 100s as I can. I, I think the reason I don't do that anymore is because it's so easy to hack Pokemon in, and it just, I don't know, I feel like it's not as valuable as it once was, getting a level 100 Pokemon. Uh, trading as well, just never be my thing. Battling, definitely more my thing, but I just, like I said, because you can hack Pokemon, I feel like there's no point of me like really making these teams from scratch and putting hard work in. So I think that's what's kind of made me lose my uh, passion for Pokemon at the moment, but hopefully I will find that. But yeah, that's how I played Pokemon, getting as many level 100s as I can. Hello guys, what is up? This is Galactic Elliot here on PokeTubers down yet again. Shout out to the Fortune Game for having me, of course. Today's question is, what is your favorite way of playing Pokemon? So this question is very difficult for me to answer because it's a very broad question and there's so many different ways of playing Pokemon that it just it's so it's so tough to answer it in just one little thing. So I kind of I guess I'll kind of break it up and give you guys kind of like my ideas and then at the end of this kind of give you guys what my main idea would be. Uh, I do love doing playthroughs of uh, versus and randomizers being the two that I love and I do love battling as well as shiny hunting and doing wonder trades as well. Just so many different types of things that I could do in the game that I really really enjoy. Now versus because I just love competitive like competition pretty much being competitive and having that competitive nature just makes it so much more fun for me it gives my adrenaline rush in and just knowing that I'll be racing somebody else kind of gives me that motivation to kick their ass and it makes it so much more fun for me because I just have that competitive value in me back in the day if you guys didn't know I was a speedrunner I didn't do Pokemon speedruns but I did Super Mario 64 and Super Mario World speedruns back on my old channel and I really really loved it man but you know it was really draining but doing versus and whatnot you know I'm playing Pokemon and you're going against somebody one-on-one -on so yeah I mean not all the time when I'm but still. And, you know, just being neck and neck with somebody or just blowing them out of the waters, it just makes it fun. And sometimes you can have that comeback and whatnot, which makes it really cool too. And if I feel like it's fun for the person doing it as well as the people watching because, you know, the people watching are rooting somebody on and then they want to see who's going to get in first place. And it's really cool because you never know what's going to happen, man. RNG can screw you in the butthole. A Pokemon that they get can screw you in the butthole. You know, any sorts of things can happen. And it's really cool, man. It's really fun. And I really do uh, enjoy that type of competitive value as well as just doing the verses in general and it's kind of ironic for me to say that because I have not done too many verses in general but the times that I've, I have done it it's been a lot of fun really and uh, maybe in the future you'll see more 
As far as randomizers go, it's what I built my channel off of in the first place. Whenever I first made Galactic Elliot, which wasn't my first channel by any means, um, I did do the randomizer. I was one of the first people to ever do it, and it was a lot of fun, and it still is a lot of fun to do. I don't do it as much as I used to, but at the same time, you get that different type of vibe whenever playing Pokemon. And it's not like a really, really different vibe. It's just different in a way where you're going to get different Pokemon in that generation that you're playing, or maybe you're going to get the same exact type of Pokemon you get in that same exact type of route. It makes things unpredictable, and it makes things a little bit more fun within the playthrough of the game, especially if you already played through that game a ton of times and you're just kind of wanting a little bit of a change of pace or just different Pokemon to play through in that region. So it makes a lot of fun, and uh, I definitely do enjoy it. And then whenever it comes to battling, like I'm doing the MPA right now, which is the National Pokemon Association. I'm really enjoying it, man. The draft league format is so much fun to do, and I feel like I'm just getting better and better. And like I said, the competitiveness just kind of rolls through me, man. The adrenaline starts rushing, and I just love to go one-on-one -on -one against somebody and see how I go and how I do and how I can prep as well. I also definitely want to get into VGC because, like, it's I think it's just different, man. I think VGC is just different. I really do want to get into it one day, so, hell, maybe I can do that as well. So, so many different types of things you can do with Pokemon, and Shining Hunting is cool, Winter Trades are cool. It kind of, sits, you know, kind of, kind of says for itself, really. Uh, if I had to choose one, though, I'd definitely have to say that the Versus is my favorite just because of that competitive value, like I said before, like a billion times. It's just so much fun, and I definitely want to do more of it in the future, so maybe I will. Keep your eyes checked, and, uh, yeah. On to the next person! Hey everybody, it's Purple Penguin 66 here. Before we get started on the question, I just want to thank my buddy Josh for letting me be a part of this video. So anyway, what is my favorite way of playing Pokemon? If it's not for content for YouTube or streaming on Twitch, for me during my free time would definitely be, if it's not playing the game for the first time of course, um, Nuzlocke. So either it just be a normal Nuzlocke, a Wedlock, a Wanderlocke, a randomized Nuzlocke. I just enjoy doing that because, well, every time you play through the game, it's a different kind of challenge because you're using different kind of Pokemon. And I, for me, that's really, really exciting. But my most favorite thing for me, because it's what I do, it's what I stream, it's what the content, the kind of content that I put out is shiny hunting. Shiny hunting for me only started probably about two or three years ago, something along them lines, when X and Y came out. And it's really, really exciting and it's a great way for me to interact with, I suppose, my audience, if you want to put it that way. Um, I just really, really like it. Like, I'm working hard for just a different color Pokemon. That seems ridiculous, but... It's at the same. It's actually really, really exciting. You're working so hard. You put a lot of patience into it, and then, yeah, I just find it really, really exciting. And the great thing for me is that when I stream, it encourages other people in the chat to actually hunt along with me, and it's it's great. I really, really enjoy it. Um, about a year ago though, I got into full on shiny hunting and that's even more exciting. It's a lot more difficult, but yeah, I, it's actually a great feeling to be able to get a full on shiny is absolutely amazing. My longest hunt so far has been like 5 months, which is like 36k, it was a bit ridiculous. And even then I thought, it's like, okay, after this hunt, I'm going to be completely completely put off by shiny hunting but no it hasn't it actually made my love of shiny hunting a lot stronger and yeah for me that's basically it my favorite way of playing pokemon is shiny hunting and i love it and if you haven't if you haven't done it i would say give it a try even if it's just chain fishing chain fishing is like the one of the easiest way to get shiny little hordes or deck stuff just just give it a go if you haven't already because getting a shiny pokemon is pretty damn cool anyway guys uh, thanks for listening to me ramble and that's it from me now for me personally my favorite way of playing pokemon is doing an egg lock challenge i love 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 egg locks and if you guys know the concept too pretty much the idea is you take the whole nuzlocke challenge and every time you get a pokemon you swap it for an egg that someone that watches you a viewer sends into you and i just find that so freaking cool i mean you have your randomizers and your wonder locks which are super cool and those are both generated the pokemon they get are generated in various ways you know the randomizers 
completely computer, the randomizer is partly computer, partly just human factor, but the egg lock is such a direct connection to just people that watch you and support you because every time you hatch an egg, you know, your whole series is dictated by the viewers. If your viewers are kind of assholes, you're gonna have a shitty team. If your viewers are awesome, which I mean, I'm just saying the egg lock I have with Elliot, I mean, holy crap. The, there's a lot of power in that, so you guys are like 99% awesome. There's a few dicks in that bunch that sent me like Waba Fett and other garbage. But seriously though, the general concept of an egg lock I just find so cool. You know, the whole series is possible because of people sending stuff into you. And people are really considerate when they do it sometimes. They, they include egg moves and all this other stuff. There's such a high level of customization within the egg lock bracket in terms of interaction and engagement and I just find that so cool like there's something awesome about that that just can't be replicated by by other ways of manipulating the game different challenges and there are plenty of other fun ways like a versus is fun for its own reasons and same with the randomizer and the wonder lock which are very similar to an egg lock in format but there's something about that engagement level of an egg lock of just hatching eggs that people send in and having be, being at the mercy of the viewer is something that I love and it's just so much fun always hatching eggs and finding out who's gonna send me what and that's that pretty much and at the end of the series usually you do an egg hatching video you get to see everything that people sent in and I just find that so cool I find that so cool definitely definitely egg locks at the top and then below are the similar formats most likely the randomizer the versus and the wonder lock and shiny hunting and those other things are definitely up there. They're fun, but definitely my favorite way has got to be the egg lock challenge. And that just about wraps up episode two here of Poketubers. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. If you guys have suggestions for other people to be on the series, for other questions, please let me know in the comments section below. And I would love to take it in, take some feedback, and put it into action as much as I can. I heard you guys feedback in episode one. Trust me, it is going into action soon enough. Thank you to all the awesome people that came onto this episode of Poketubers On. If you guys want to check them all out, please feel free. The links for everyone is going to be down below. Hey, if you guys enjoyed it, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new for more Pokemon content, and we will see you guys next time. By the way, if you want to watch episode one, click on the link right there. Thanks for watching. Peace.